Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Rihant Online Academy and here in this session we are going to solve a very very important gate question of CS 2012, question number 40 it was. So the question is, consider the directed graph shown in the figure below, there are multiple shortest path between vertices S and T, uh, which one will be reported by Dijkstra shortest path algorithm. Assume that in any iteration that shortest path to a vertex V is updated only when a strictly shorter path to V is discovered. Okay, so we need to work between vertices S and vertices T. We need to work over vertices S and vertices T. And there might be the thing that multiple shortest path may exist, correct? Multiple shortest path may exist. So to solve this question, we need to apply Dijkstra's algorithm. So to apply Dijkstra's algorithm, let me try to include the table so that we can work smoothly. Okay, so we need to start from vertice S, correct? We need to start from vertice S. So I can directly write S here and all the remaining one A, B and C, D e is there, F is also there and E, F, G is also there and T is also there, right? Let me check it, nothing should be remained. A, B, C, D, E, F, G and T. Okay. And we need to reach T and we need to find the minimum cost, minimum shortest path, shortest path, single source shortest path using Dijkstra's algorithm over this graph. Okay. So let's start the process. So you know that uh, whenever we work, whenever we work on uh, Dijkstra's algorithm, we just uh, wrote the all vertices and starting that is source vertices here on the on this row and all the remaining vertices in that column right now in this row and it is in this column okay now s to a it is reachable yes with what cost four so i will write four here s to b is it reachable yes with what cost three i will write three here s to c it is reachable. No, it is not reachable. S to C directly it is not reachable. Initially it would be infinite. S to D directly reachable. Yes. With what cost? 7. I will write it here. And uh, S to E directly reachable? No. Infinity initially. S to F directly reachable? No. Initially it would be also infinity. S to G initially it would always be infinity because it is not reachable and s to t initially infinity because it is not reachable okay now you know that in the next iteration in the next iteration we need to work on the edge which is minimum correct which is minimum so if you will see s to a a to b correct and uh, b to c so s to a we can reach in four and uh, s to b i can reach s to b in cost three so minimum is b i will take b here i will take what b here correct because it was minimum it is minimum among four three and seven so whatever is the minimum we will to take, uh, take it and we are not going to work anymore here correct okay now b to a can i reach b to a no so whatever here we need to put it as it is so four is as it is here after that c S to C. Can we reach B to C? B to C. B to C. Can I reach? No, I cannot reach directly. So infinity as it is. B to D. Can I reach B to D? Yes. With what cost? 4. With what cost? 4. And already I am traveling 4. Uh, at B, I have 4. 4 plus 4, it would become 8. 4 plus 4, it would be 8. Right. So at B, here I am having 3. You should focus here. S to B, I will reach in cost 3. S to B, I will reach in cost 3. Right. S to B, I will reach in cost 3. Further, I will add 4 and I will get 7. But I will not update it. Why? Because if you are going to read the question, it is written that the shortest path to a vertex V is updated only when, only when a strictly shorter path to V is discovered. It is not strictly shorter. Strictly shorter means it must be lesser than 7. There, th thereafter only I will update. Else I will not update. That is the thing. So I will keep 7 as it is. I am not updating it. Okay. B to E. B to E. B to E. No. Directly not reachable. Infinity as it is. 
and uh, b to f directly it is not reachable infinity as it is b to g infinity as it is and b to t infinity as it is correct okay next minimum one is a next minimum one is a because it is having four so here it would be a correct now if it is a no need to do any work here but we need to look something important factor here the thing is that can i reach a to c yes i can reach a to c with what cost with cost one and already four is the cost to travel from s so four plus one is five so i will update five here because it is lesser than it is strictly lesser than infinity five is much lesser than infinity five is strictly lesser than infinity so i will update this okay no worry after that can i reach a to d i can reach a to d directly no so whatever it is i will keep them as it is can i reach a to e no directly i cannot reach infinity a to f no as it is infinity a to g no and it is also no right so if there is not a direct path according to dijkstra's algorithm is there is no direct path we will keep them as it is if there is a direct path and path is shorter than the previous one we will update that is the thing okay the next minimum one is c the next minimum one is c so if next minimum one is c we will uh, take it and the cost to travel till c is 5 cost to travel c from s is 5 correct now if you are going to see if you are going to see that uh, c2 we do not need to do any work here now c2d do we have connection c2d yes what 3 and already 5 is there 5 plus 3 is 8 8 is not lesser than 7 so 7 as it is do we have path from c to e yes with what cost 1 so 1 plus 5 6 which is lesser than infinity i will update 6 here do i have path from c to f no keep them infinity g no keep them infinity and keep them infinity now the next minimum one the next minimum one is e the next minimum one is e i will take e and the cost from s to e is 6 okay after that no need to do any work here now e to d can i reach from e to d no i cannot reach from e to d directly so keep d as it is don't change it keep d as it is don't change okay can i reach from e to f can i reach from e to f directly no keep infinity as it is can i reach from e to g yes with what cost with cost 2 and what is the cost till e 6 6 plus 2 is 8 8 is lesser than infinity isn't it yes so i will update 8 here and can i reach from e to t yes e to t i can reach with what cost with cost 4 and what is the cost to reach e it was 6 6 plus 4 is 10 i will update 10 here because it is lesser than infinity okay now out of this what is the next minimum one the next minimum one is obviously d so i will take d here and the cost is 7 okay after that if you are going to observe uh, we just took d no need to do any work here can we reach from d to f d to f uh, d to f yes with what cost 5 and what is the cost to travel till d it is 7 7 plus 5 is 12 but uh, 12 is lesser than infinity obviously it is lesser than infinity so i will update 12 here and after that d to g can i reach d to g no d to g travel means there is no direct path so i will keep g as it is can i reach from d to t yes with what cost 3 what is the cost to travel till d till d it is 7 7 plus 3 it is 10 but we are not going to change it we are not updating it via d we are only keeping it via e we are not updating it via d why because in question itself written is strictly shorter it means that if the next path is much if the next path is lesser than that there are only you have to change it but if it is not strictly strictly shorter means s and 7 and 7 so if both are 10 and 10 they are not strictly lesser 7 and 7 they are not strictly lesser but one is 7 and another one is 6 you can tell that you can say that this 6 is strictly lesser than 7 right this is the thing so i will not uh, change the path the path is still via e only not via d because it is not strictly lesser correct okay 
Now the next minimum one, the next minimum one out of this is G. The next minimum one is G. I will take G here and what is the cost to reach till G is at. Okay. Now if you are going to see here, uh, G to F, G to F, here it is G and where it is F, do I have direct path? No, I will keep 12 as it is and T. So do we have connection from G to T? Yes, with what cost three, but eight plus three is 11, which is more. So I will not update it 10 as it is correct. Now next, after that, you can see that uh, the next minimum one is obviously T. So we will take T, T will be here. The cost is 10. And T to F, it can be reached in 5, 10 plus 5, 15. But obviously, if it is done in 12, I will go with 15. So at the last, it would be F. At the last, it would be F with what cost? 12. Okay. Now, our question was, we need to reach from, we need to travel from S to T. Correct. So if we need to travel from S to T, you can observe. Let me choose the highlighter. Let me choose the highlighter. Just a second. First, we need to travel from S to A, correct or not? Thereafter, A to C. And after that, if you are going to C, I must need to travel C to E. And after that, E to T. According to Dijkstra's algorithm, I must go to S to A, A to C, C to E, and then E to T. Correct or not? This is the path. Dijkstra's algorithm is delivering to us. This is the path Dijkstra's algorithm is delivering. S to A, A to C, C to E, and E to T. This is the shortest path. So S, A, C, E, T. This is the correct answer. Option D it is. I hope the question is very much clear to you in depth. With all the concept of Dijkstra's algorithm, I, I just uh, uh, explained it. Let me try to summarize it. Dijkstra's algorithm says that whenever we are having shorter path, but if shorter path is shorter than previous existing path, then update. But if we are having new path, but it is not shorter, then we are not going to update it. But in question itself, it was mentioned that is strictly shorter. It means that it must be strictly lesser than that. Just like if two paths are giving me 10, 10, I will not update it until and unless next path will give me a strictly lesser value th than 10, that is nine, getting it. So option D is the correct answer for this get question. I hope the concept should be clear to each and everyone. And for such kind of question, for such kind of doubts, queries, do stay tuned with us, subscribe us and prepare for your gate and UGC net exam with us. Thank you so much, guys. Have a very nice day and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more and more and more questions answered. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.